guys. Today, this morning, uh, I'm at the ADM, the Automobile Drive Museum, because they have a uh, Model T and Model A show, and it's kind of windy today, but the cars look pretty good. Let me show you. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There's Wes. Where, where are we? What are we doing? My automobile driving museum. Yeah. For a Model T show. But there's some Model A's here too. Yeah, but did someone not pay attention in spelling class? Probably not. But they all look the same after a while, don't they? It's like new cars. You're, no, that's you're an not expert. true. You're, I, I hate to say that's not true. You're an expert. Difference between a Model A and a Model T. Years. Years. The years that it was. Oh, the years. Yeah, the years. And, yeah. and what years were the and, and, and a little letter difference. You know, no there's, there's there's an A and there's a T. Right. Is there a model like C or a Q? No. No, there isn't. You know, what are you going to do? Gonna no, it, it basically went uh, uh, T, A, and then uh, 32. So there's T and A, and then there was some other cars. <laughs> okay. Don't let anybody in this show. Hey there. Anybody at all. Hey, how you doing, Fireball? What's up? Give me your full name. My name's Steve Beck. And and why? And, and why am I here? <laughs> no, this is my because my mom made me <laughs> made me Steve. You know? yeah. My mom made me come to the show. Um, right. You have a, you have a shop in West LA. Uh, Checkpoint Automotive on Grandview, sure. Okay, and you restore all kinds of cars. I'm not really a restoration guy. I'm a guy that people bring their cars to to make them run. You know, I, although I've restored a few cars in my life, we really don't have the facility to paint. Yeah, but what you did behind us is not like a normal car someone would bring that they want running. It's a freshly restored car. Yeah, 1914 yeah. uh, Model T touring car. One of only 250,000 made that year. Uh -huh. it, it's a pretty fresh restoration. It's got about 30 miles on it. Right. Uh, I, I bought it from a buddy of mine who started the restoration about 10 years ago and found one he liked better and sold me. Basically, it was a kit. The engine had been done, the rear axle and transmission had been freshened out, the body had been rewooded. So this is not a client's car, this is your car? This is my personal car, yeah. Okay. And, and, and can you tell me the, the years difference between a Model a, T and a Model A? Model T production was from 1908 to 1927. The 1928 Model A was uh, 1928 to 1931. Okay. And the Model A was a bigger car. It made more yeah. power. It had a sliding gear transmission and it had brakes on all four wheels. Right. It came in many different colors besides black <laughs> and a little more style. <laughs> Which was to the it. only color you originally could get. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, yeah. The, in the early days of the Model T, you could yeah. get you could get colors, but by the middle of 1914, it was black. Nice. Was it. Nice. So, uh, yeah. how long have you had this car? I've had it about five years. Okay, and you, you just finished restoring it. And how long was the restoration? About two. Okay. You know, I've got a, a bunch of other so cars it to was, deal Like with. most guys, it was sitting there for three years. Saying, just, fix me, fix me. Yeah, just giving you a hard time. Right. Well, nice job. It looks really good. Thanks a lot. Okay. Can I do my famous model T pose? Oh, really? You have a model T pose? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Not a bad turnout with some vintage coolness, but every now and then 
even with cars like this, something really classic shows up right there. shot. See the cooker? You can cook while you drive home so you can get your <laughs> meals done. I think that's awesome. Which one, guys, which one are you going to take home today? Because I'm going to give you the keys. There's so much in the museum that's fun. So Wes just wants to take his there. own car home. Yeah. The year is. I don't know, but I don't know that it's going to make it around the block with all three of us. Al Alex is going to give us a spin in a, a classic Model T, uh, 1909. Yeah. Let's go. Free ticket. Yeah, boy. So we're bringing Ken along just in case Putt Putt uh, putts out. Needs some push -push. Yeah, needs some yeah. push push. That's what, that's what his job is. We'll be back in about 20 minutes. Hopefully they're going around the block, but it'll be 20 minutes. his hat off and it's in the middle of the intersection so he had to go back and get it. I thought I'd hang out here. Of course you are. Um, if there is a good pinup shot out there in the world, chances are you did it. Thank right? you. Of course. 
just like to think so. So, you know, what is it about, you know, shooting pinups that's fun for you? I mean, you, you did the cars as well, or just Yes, pinups? no, no, cars too. Okay, all right. Um, but I get to work with a bunch of beautiful women, yeah. and I get to make women feel beautiful yeah. and confident, and yeah. And that's what it's about. Yeah. Um, what, what are you most passionate about? I mean, you've been doing this a long time? Uh, 17 years now, I think. Mm -hmm. And what did you do before? Um, photography, that's it. Okay. I went to school for photography, so I used to work in a lot of dark rooms. Yeah. So all I've done is car photography. Yeah. So where can people find your stuff? Uh, www.mitziandco.com. Okay. Very cool. And we're going to check out what Mitzi's doing, and uh, she's got a pin up coming in any moment, right? Cool. Yes. Okay. Thank cool. you. last time you drove in a 1909 Model T. <laughs> I haven't. Um, uh, it, it was, it's almost unfathomable. Unfath that it's, it's almost impossible to, to fathom that you can still get in a 1909 Model T anywhere and, and take a spin around the block. And Alex did a great job driving the car, um, despite the fact that he lost his hat. But the ADM, the Automobile Driving Museum, is a, is a great place to be able to go and see those cars. And if you walk around with a docent, you might get a chance to sit in one of them and things like that. And then they have the weekend rides. So on uh, Sundays, or I think it's Saturday, and maybe it's Sundays, you get to do the ride and drive. So you get to sit in one of these cars and you get to ride around. I mean, it's 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 a fantastic experience. All right, I have a, I have a quick shout out to my friend, uh, Mike Zarnock, who lives back east. Mike is a huge Hot Wheels collector. And not only is a huge Hot Wheels collector, he's a huge writer of books on Hot Wheels. Mike sent me this, or his peer company sent me this. This is a field guide. Look at this. This is really cool. Look, this is the small book. Check this out. Look at this. This is a, a, another really great one. This is an accessories guide, ultimate guide for Hot Wheels. You know, all the track sets and things like that. Uh, Mike, fantastic job. Look at this. I mean, you know how long it took to do that? But wait, there's more. Serious book on variations. This is even thicker. Look at this. Look at how thick this is. You want to know about values. You want to know about variations. Uh, you want to, this is uh, from 2000 to 2013. Just crazy. Uh, it's going to take me months, if not years, to go through all this stuff. But big thanks to Mike. Um, just a fabulous guy. Uh, has always been a joy to talk with and to you know, bounce ideas off of uh, uh, regarding Hot Wheels. Mike, if you're watching this, I really appreciate um, your guys sending me, your camp sending me this stuff. A shining example of someone who is doing what they love and love what they do. And that's that's the, the whole point. Guys, I'm, that's the point I'm trying to get across to you. This vlog may be a lot of things. It may be car culture. It may be a lot of cool things having to do with cars. But the bottom line, you got to figure out a way to do what you love. Got one foot in the casket and another one on a banana peel. So get to it.